Welcome to today's class. We're going to focus on a heart opening practice. And if you think of exercise improving your muscles, well, your heart is a muscle. So the more we focus on opening that, the more space we have. And I know these are challenging times with everything that's going on with COVID, with what's going on <coughs> in the world. Please silence yourself if you would be so kind of getting feedback. Thank you. Um, but it's important to stay open, even though the tendency is to want to close down and pull inside. From a physical standpoint, the area around the heart in the chest is very protected. It's very rigid. It doesn't have as much flexibility as the neck area and the lower back area. So when we open these parts of the body, we do so gently and kindly. And when our asana practice is done, we'll take a short break and we'll be gathering again for our meditation practice, which is going to be a metta or loving kindness practice. So please, again, if you haven't muted your microphone, please do so now because I'm hearing a lot of background noise. So thank you very much for that. And we'll begin. So taking your seat, telling your body that it's time for your practice and to let go of everything else just for a short while. We want to be able to focus on what's happening in the body and what's happening with the breath. Allowing your eyes to close or looking softly at the floor, letting yourself settle and following each and every breath from the very beginning to the very end. Becoming aware of any strong sensations in your body, maybe a little tightness or tension, or maybe your body just feels really good today. Notice that as well. Become aware of the busyness of your thoughts and your energy. And as you breathe now, let your attention rest right on the center of your chest. You can even place your hands over your heart. And when we talk about the heart center, in Sanskrit, it's called anahata. And it's a beautiful, beautiful emerald green color. It's where we hold on to love and joy and compassion. And also where we can carry sadness and loss. And also our heart center energy is the healing center for the body. We can direct that energy anywhere we like. Breathe deeply into your heart. Let's take three more complete conscious breaths. Good. And then bringing your centering to close, bringing your hands to heart center. Let's lift our voices in an ohm. Deep breath in. Oh. Om Shanti. Peace. May we all know peace. Good. 
So keeping your hands pressed together, inhale, lift your arms up, breathing in, exhale, sweep the arms around, bringing them back to rest at the heart. Good. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sweep the arms around. As you lift your arms, you can also lift your gaze. Good, exhale, sweep it around. And once more, inhale. Exhale, sweep it around. Good. So inhale, let's draw the elbows back, opening the heart. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, open the elbows out to the side. Good. Exhale, bring it back. Again, open up wide. Bring it back. A couple more times. Breathe it in. Open, stretch. Good. Bring it back. Last time. And bring it back. Sweep your arms up. Lifting your fingertips while you drop the shoulders, feeling your breath. And let's begin to climb that invisible ladder. So we're gonna reach overhead and pull it down. Reach up with the opposite hand and pull it down. So we're really reaching as high as we can reach without letting our sit bones come off the chair. And as you pull down, Imagine there's some weight there as you're pulling. Breathing in, reaching, exhale, pulling. And this time raising both arms, coming back into mountain. Great. So I'm gonna bend my a left arm and cradle that elbow with my right palm. Good, draw the elbows back. Draw the shoulders back. Feel your heart begin to open. And find your breath. Good. We're going to release that now and reach up. And then bend the opposite elbow. Cradle it with the left palm. Again, elbows, and shoulders back. Nice deep breaths. Good, reach up one more time. So leave your left arm lifted, lower your right arm and begin to sweep that left arm from side to side. Just sweeping across and bring it down. Sweep and down. When I talk about heart openers, I always think about one of my teachers at Kripalu that used to say, yoga is really more about opening the heart than it is about opening the hips. And I agree with that. So open your heart first and foremost to yourself. So this time when you reach across, let's pause. See if you can reach a little further. Good. And then let's do some circles with that arm. So just leaning forward, circling it around, working within your personal comfort range this morning, whatever that happens to be. <coughs> Excuse me. Good. And this time reach across and then lower that arm down. Notice how you feel. Ready for the other side? Here we go. Right arm lifts up and let's sweep it from side to side. Clean those cobwebs off your ceiling. Sweeping across and bringing it down. <coughs> so this time we're gonna reach across and pause. Both feet on the floor, both sit bones on the chair. Breathing into that side body. 
And let's begin to do some circles on this side. Nice and easy. Just circling around. One more big circle here, and then reach that arm across, pause just for a moment, and release it down. And take a couple of breaths as you check in with how you're feeling. So we'll do our moon salutation and we'll do it seated, and then we'll salute the sun as well. So sweeping your arms up, Bring your palms together. Now, if your shoulders are really tight, know that you can separate your hands to give the shoulders room to drop down. I'm gonna keep my hands together. Take a breath in and on an exhale, let's bend directly to the right. Keep those sit bones on the chair and keep breathing. Inhaling, bring it up, and let's exhale over to the left. Ah. Try not to roll forward or back, directly to the side. Inhale, come up, and we're going to do the back bend now. So you can leave your arms as they are, or if you need a little easier version, you can separate your hands or place a palm on either side of your lower back for support. Good, inhale, exhale, reach it back, lengthen. Inhale, come up and exhale. We're gonna fold forward right at the hip crease. Come all the way down. And you can release your hands for a minute and shake your head, let any tension go. Re-engage your arms. Let's come back up. Good. Half moon to the left. Half moon to the right. Inhaling back to center and bring your palms back to rest at your heart. Maybe you can do a repetition of that tonight on the light of the full moon. It's such a, it was so beautiful last night. Okay, let's salute the sun, beginning with palms at heart center again. Great, inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, reach it back. And now come on into a forward fold again, opening the arms, letting the breath go. Palms to your knees, come up halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhaling, arms sweep up, and we reach back on an exhale. Coming back to mountain and back to the heart. How about one more of those? Good, inhale, exhale, reach it back. Taking the breath back to mountain and then letting it go completely. Palms to the knees, come up halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, reach it back. Breathe it back to mountain and then come to rest right at your heart. So let's come into the uh, figure four stretch. We're gonna start with the right side. So options are to cross at the ankle, to cross at the knee, or to place that ankle up on top of your left thigh, whatever works. Pressing down on the knee, pulling up on the foot, You're trying to read just that right level of sensation. If you want a deeper stretch, fold forward. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Let go of your expectations of what your practice should look like today and just let it, let it be.
One more breath. Exhale, let it go. And inhale, come on up. So leaving your foot right where it is, we're gonna just do a couple of twists with the leg in figure four position. So let's twist to the left. Lengthening your spine as you breathe in, rotating as you breathe out. Breathe it back to center and let's go in the other direction. So the left palm is coming to the right knee, right hand to the chair. Nice deep breaths. Good, and let's bring it back to center. Uncross wherever you've crossed, and we'll go to the other side. So choosing the leg position that works best for you this morning. Sitting up tall, pressing down on the knee, pulling up on the foot. And you, sometimes just by sitting up a little taller, you get just the right amount of sensation in the hip. You be the judge. Good. Want a little more? Follow me as I fold forward. Notice if you're holding on to tension somewhere in your body that you can actually let go of. How about one more breath, please? Great, inhale, come on up. Take a breath and we'll do those twists from side to side. So left hand comes to the left foot, looking over to the right. Good, breathe it back to center and let's go in the other direction. One more breath. And then release that as you come around. Lovely, uncross your legs, take a few breaths and we'll come up to standing. <clears throat> So I'm gonna separate my feet a little wider than my hips, just to let the arms swing. Try to find some way you can soften in your body. Maybe you can soften through the neck, through the chest, through the knees. Enjoy your breath. So let the momentum of that come slowly to stillness. And let's do our standing jacks because they're a lot of fun. We don't have to do jumping jacks. We can do standing jacks. So just a reminder, in case you've forgotten, I'm gonna step out to the side and bring my hands together and then bring them back to the other side and back. You ready? Here we go. Hands together and down. Step out and down. And you can be going a little bit faster or a little slower than I am. It's perfectly fine. And let that breath go with a ha huh sound as you bring your arms overhead. Huh. Get a little energy going. Ha. Huh. Huh. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Huh. A couple more times. Ha. Huh. Good, and relax. Shoulders are shake. Good, warm me up a little bit. It's getting chilly out there. So let's come to the side of the chair and we'll strengthen the lower body doing some of those leg lifts, the ones that also work on balance. So remember it's five to the front, five to the side and five to the back. And if the leg doesn't wanna lift up off the floor, 
just slide the toe forward. That's perfectly fine. Here we go. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five. So remember to keep the supporting knee a little bit soft. And three, and four, and five. Good, upper body's quiet to the back. And two, and three, and four, and five. Good. Place the foot on the floor and notice how strong the sensation is in the supporting leg. So when you do warrior pose, there's a couple of choices. You can step forward into the pose or you can step back. And normally we step forward, but today we're going to be stepping back just to see what that feels like, how that changes the pose for you. So we're gonna be stepping back with the left leg. Hand on the chair to begin. Take a breath in, step back with the left leg. Good, and sink down. So a little bit of a bend in the forward knee. Square your hips so they face forward. And add one arm or both, and breathe. One more breath. And exhale, lower the arms. Keep your feet where they are because we're gonna move into warrior two. So I'm gonna release the chair. You can continue to hold on to the chair if you need to, but I'm gonna release the chair with my right arm and sweep my left arm behind me. A little bit of a deeper bend in the knee. Gazes out over my right hand. Wonderful, breathe in. And exhale, lower the hands and step your feet together. Good. So let's do the tree pose and we'll do both versions. We'll do the one using the outside leg and we'll do the second version with the foot on the chair. And if the foot on the chair one doesn't work for you, that's perfectly fine. Just do the first version. So here we go. Weight comes to the inside leg, your right leg. Begin to lift the left foot, just a little bit at a time. Draw that knee out to the side. Place your foot in a position that works for your tree pose and add your arm or both. Build your branches. You can even separate your hands, wiggle your fingers, get a little creative. Make sure you're breathing. That's the most important thing. Good, breathe in, exhale. Lower the hands, release the foot. And let's get ready for the other version of tree pose. So the weight's now gonna be carried by my left leg. So. Keep that knee nice and soft as you pick the right foot up on the chair. Good. Draw that bent knee back. You want to open the front of the body. Good. Add your arms, one or both, and breathe. Awesome, inhale, exhale, lower the hands, lower the foot and take a breath. We're gonna do all those on the other side and we'll switch it up by doing a downward facing dog between the two sides. So knowing that your choices are to stand behind the chair and walk your feet back or bring your hands to the seat of the chair and walk your feet back. Ah. Let the heart sink down. 
the shoulders open. I'm gonna pedal my feet a little bit here. So bending one knee and then straightening the other. Good, and dropping the chest down a little bit further. Awesome, let's walk back towards the chair and come to the other side. So let's begin with the leg lifts on this side. We're gonna be working with the right foot this time. So lifting and lowering, breathe it in and down and three and four and five. Let's go to the side. It's a pretty small movement. A lot of work going on in that supporting leg. Two more. And let's go back. Should feel this all the way up into your glutes. Three and four and five. So we're going to be coming into warrior and we're going to be stepping back into warrior. Okay. So we're going to be stepping back with the right foot. Are you ready? Eyes on the horizon. Take a breath in. Send that right foot back. Good, sink down. Square your hips, facing forward. And add the arms. If you like, it's always an option to keep the arms down or keep one hand on the chair. Where'd your breath go? Find it. Great, inhale, exhale, lower those arms. Keep the feet where they are. Let's come into warrior two. So left hand comes in front if you don't need it for support. Right arm behind, sink down a little further. Good. Gaze out over your left hand. One more nice deep breath. Good, exhale, lower the arms. Step those feet together. Good job, everybody. Ready for tree? Here we go. So the left leg is beginning to carry the weight as we lift the right foot up. Take that knee out to the side and select a position for the foot. The foot can be up if you like. I'm gonna keep mine on the floor. One arm or two, it's up to you. Ooh, that even rhymes. Make sure you're breathing. Nice, steady breath. One more breath, please. Inhale, exhale, lower the arms. And let's get ready for the other version. Remember, you can always repeat the first version if this doesn't work for you. Weight comes to the right foot, right leg, left foot comes up on the chair. The knee comes back. So notice where my hips are facing. I'm not rotating towards the chair. My hips are facing forward and that gives you the opening in the hips. Good. Build your branches and find your breath. One more breath. Awesome, good. Inhale, exhale, lower the hands. Release that foot and just pause. Let's do one more downward facing dog. So again, choices are hands at the back of the chair, 
hands on the seat of the chair, whatever works for you, walk your feet away, uh, sigh out the breath. Where are you holding on to tension that you can let go? Good, walk back towards the chair and take a breath. So we're gonna do a pose that's a wonderful heart opener. It's also considered a devotional pose in uh, yoga because you're lifting your heart and lifting your breath like a prayer. And it's called the sky gazer. So I'm gonna move my chair out of the way just for a minute. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is find a position for your hands. And the intention with this pose is to really focus on opening the heart center. So hands can be at the hips and then you can draw the elbows back, which creates expansion across the front. I'm gonna turn around. You can also hold on to opposite elbows, which gives you a little bit of a deeper opening in the chest. You can also come into what's known as reverse prayer position. Holy moly. <laughs> elbows and shoulders back. So whatever <laughs> position works for you. So find a position that works. A little so standing comfortably, we're going to step forward uh, on the left foot. Like Small step, yeah. not a big step. Which is good. Yeah. Take a moment to let your weight shift to the front and the back, because this is actually a balanced pose. And then let that come to stillness where you feel very well balanced, good. Take a breath in and let the exhale lift your gaze and your chin. Draw your elbows and shoulders back, open your heart and breathe. Right. <coughs> Inhaling, returning your gaze to the horizon. We're going to step forward with the right foot. And again, we're going to do that little shuffle forward and back. This helps to find the perfect balance point, whatever that happens to be. Then bring that to stillness. Soften your knees, breathe in, and allow your gaze to look up. Make sure you're breathing. Good, one more breath. Good, return your gaze to the horizon, step those feet together, release whatever hand position you've chosen and bring hands to heart center. Pause for a breath. <clears throat> Let's take a seat. So we'll finish up our um, practice this morning with a seated triangle and a seated twist. Is that me? So let's separate the feet. Nice and wide. Nice and wide. Good. Lift up your right arm. The left arm comes to the inside of the left leg. And we're going to arch directly to the side, just like you do with half moon. So you're not rolling forward or back. Directly to the side. Don't you do me? <laughs> Such a struggle being here. Wonderful. Breathe it up. Here's your chair. Drop that hand this down. Is your chair. Lift up your left arm and go the other way. 
put a little bit of gentle pressure on the inside of that leg to open the hips. One more breath, please. Inhaling, lowering the arm. Let's walk the feet together. And just do a few twists from side to side. No particular way to do this. You know, I'm in my yoga chair. Lengthen and twist. <laughs> Once more, I'm going to go from side to side. And then coming to rest at center, let's take a few moments just to sit and breathe and be witness to the effects of our practice, letting your eyes close, tuning into your breath, tuning into your heart center. Breathing into any areas that still might be holding on to a little bit of tension or tightness. Give it permission to relax. <coughs> Soften your shoulders. <clears throat> letting your breath get a little bit deeper now just a little bit deeper beginning to move stretch wiggle your fingers wiggle your toes oh doing any movement dance your own dance here <laughs> bringing your hands to heart center, pressing your thumbs lightly into your heart center, just to connect with that energy. Let's close our practice with another OM, deep breath. OM, OM, Shanti, peace. Namaste, Jai Bhagwan.